was disturbed under the ground there. It would, it would come up. And what comes up? The man of the tar. In the murky depths of Los Angeles' world-famous La Brea Tar Pits, there lies an ancient secret, a creature that awakened by underground construction turns five co-workers last night together into a desperate fight for survival. The movie is Tar. It stars Timothy Bottoms, uh, Bottoms rather, and Canadian Oscar nominee Graham Greene, and it's directed by Aaron Wolf, who joins us via Skype from California this morning. Good morning. Thanks for the early get-up. Yeah, good to see you, Bob. Good to see you, too. Your last visit in studio before this uh, crazy 2020 and the pandemic was uh, well, three or four years ago. I think it was Restoring Tomorrow, your last film. And I remember at the time you mentioning that you were working on Tar, and here we yes. are. Yes, it was in the primitive stages to go with the, uh, the primitive element of primitive mammals and animals and creatures in our film. Yeah, so, so it was in the primitive stages. We'll get to uh, your latest film, but I want to get to your beginnings because um, you, you have made several films over the years. You actually, uh, your dad worked at Disney and that's where you got the bug? Yeah, so my father was in corporate uh, Disney as a speechwriter, and I was fascinated by this film industry. I was seven years old, and he would bring home what I would call reading material, but it was Hollywood Reporter and Variety, and we'd say, oh, Aaron, here's your reading material, because I'd read that instead of children's books. Right. <laughs> and that, that became my passion, and I was also doing community theater at the time, so I just started to love acting, directing, filmmaking, the, the whole concept and the industry, the business. You were so, actually, yeah. you were in The Groundlings, weren't you? Yeah, and I did the Groundlings with the improv troupe. That's really where I, I went to New York University for film school. But I would say I learned a lot more about performing and interacting with actors and how to direct and be and and be a better actor through that yeah. troupe and through reacting to people and how they teach you. Because the Groundlings so is amazing. It's launched many careers from Howard Hessman to Lisa Kudrow and uh, hey, Aaron Wolf. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, with Tar, where did the idea come up? The idea was was multifaceted. It was, a, I wanted to make a film. I had a bunch of ideas for some characters, some based in my life, some based on uh, uh, based on a situation we were going through because um, we were actually getting evicted from our building with our production company, Howling Wolf Productions. Uh -huh. And uh, so because of the LA subway, it was being built and they're building condos and all kinds of things around, uh, around that as well as the subway. And so then... Also, our office was right down the street from the La Brea Tar Pits, which is pretty world famous in terms of this weird tar pit that preserves all these skeletons and mammals. And so I was like, how, how can we combine both elements? And we did. We decided to make a film about this situation going on with us loosely, very loosely based, some familial elements, and then the La Brea Tar Pits and this true legend that actually exists about a Native American legend about a creature that when awoken comes up and attacks the city underneath the tar pits. So it was a bunch of these pieces. That came this together. is an original idea and a genre that uh, is uh, very short on original ideas. <laughs> That's part of the other reason is yeah. I love the throwback thriller mm -hmm. horror adventure movies that don't take themselves too seriously, that have some emotion and heart and have scares and fun. You kind of so modeled what, this on your favorite horror movie, Jaws, right? Yeah, Jaws. Oh, man. Jaws, like, I think that's the, uh, you know, that's the number one most amazing uh, in terms of build, in terms of building characters. So you just don't know what is going to happen and how it's all going to transpire. And it's also really funny if people don't remember. It's actually a funny movie. And yeah. same with, like, Arachnophobia. I love that one as a little kid. You got to so add some camp. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm actually. That's the type of film I like. So that's the type of film I wanted to make. Not one of these, as you said. How many times can we see supernatural thing where kids are in a cabin and they all get killed? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, very little CG. I like that you're using a uh, uh, practical effects. Yeah, as much as humanly possible. We are. Yeah. Uh, we did practical effects because again, I, I like the challenge of it. And I also really enjoy the, um, in, in films, when I watch in CG, I think there's just too much of it. So if everything becomes CG, it's all 
I don't yeah. know. It takes you out. Just, so, just, yeah. so we tried as our, as much as possible to do practical effects. We had an amazing uh, Japanese effects artist named Kazu, who uh, he uh, he's a goes by one name, Kazu, and he uh, yeah. he came on to do this and make it happen. So you're in this as uh, Timothy Bottom's son. Great that you have that Golden Glob, Globe, Golden Glob, Golden. <laughs> thinking horror <laughs> movies, the Golden Glob. But uh, you got that Golden Globe nominee. But also uh, we have uh, an, an Oscar nominee who lives in our region, Graham Greene. How did you get him? So Graham was. Uh, I got on the phone with him and I started talking to him, and we really started hitting it off because we're both uh, Canadian, and. Um, he uh, lives up in Stratford, and so we uh, we just start hitting it off. And I said, "Man, you're the only person I've ever envisioned for this movie. And our movie isn't a hundred million dollar film. And he's been in a bunch of those. But I said, dude, you you need to. <laughs> you, I need you got to be this role. You're the only person. And and we joked around a bunch and stuff. And he agreed. Okay, and then he came you out. got him. Hey, I wish we had more time, uh, Aaron. But uh, where do we see Tar quickly? Oh, so to see Tar, so right now it's been in some theaters and drive-ins, and today it launches on demand. So it's uh, the creature feature, and for Halloween it also launches on demand. So you can check your local listings, go okay. to Tar the Movie, and uh, and it's also uh, available to, to watch on demand on all on demand. Fantastic. Platform. Continued success, Aaron Wolf. Thank you so much. It's a pleasure being here. It was just